Hi, boys and girls. All right, our story today is Feast for Ten by Catherine Falwell. So, boys and girls, um, as I read this story, I want you to ask yourself, what is a feast? Okay, we're going to talk today about what is a feast. Feast for ten. One, one cart into the grocery store. I can't get the pages turned. Two, two pumpkins for pie. Three, three chickens to fry. Four, four children off to look for more. Five, five kinds of beans. Six, six bunches of greens. Have you figured out what a feast is yet? Seven, seven dill pickles stuffed in a jar. Eight, eight ripe tomatoes. Nine, nine plump potatoes. Ten, ten hands help to load the car. Okay, were you wondering when I was going to start counting? Well, I'm going to start counting right now. Let's count ten hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then one car home from the grocery store. Two, two will look. Three, Three will cook. Four. Four will taste and ask for more. Does your mom let you taste while she's cooking? Five. Five empty cans. Six. Six pots and pans. Seven, seven more carrots to wash and peel. Do you see seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, eight platters down. Nine, nine chairs around. Well, let's count those chairs. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Ten hungry folks to share the meal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I see their grandma and grandpa. Do you see their grandma and grandpa? All right. Oh, and look at the end. He's reading a story and she's getting to eat some jelly beans. So boys and girls, the name of this story was Feast for Ten. So they did a lot of cooking and then at the end, the family and the relatives were all around the table eating some good food. What do you think feast is? If you think that it's a big special meal, you are right. It is a big special meal celebrated together. Hmm, what kind of feast do we have coming up? Could it be Thanksgiving? Would you call that a feast? I would. All right, I love you.
Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.